All right, so Star Wars The Old Republic, it just put out a brand new patch, patch 7.0 called Legacy of the Sith. Maybe you heard about it, and if you didn't hear about it, you probably saw that cinematic trailer. That thing was amazing. Go watch it if you haven't seen it yet. Link in the description. But anyway, I played Star Wars The Old Republic before it launched, and in very small doses here and there since then to just sate a bit of brief curiosity, but I have not extensively played the game since launch, where I got to near level cap before quitting since the PvP was pretty unbalanced at launch, and that was the reason I was playing in the first place. But it's been a long time since then, 10 years almost in fact, and Star Wars The Old Republic has changed a lot since then. And so, inspired by this cool new cinematic and the gameplay trailer for this new patch, I decided to properly give Star Wars The Old Republic a chance again after all this time. And this is my story of what it was like to play it again in 2022. But first, gotta thank that beautiful sponsor. This video was sponsored by... I actually don't have a sponsor for this video. Go watch my Twitch stream. Thanks. It all began with the option to create either a level 70 character or a brand new fresh level 1. Now I ain't gonna make no max level character and be confused to sin, so naturally I'm gonna make a new fella. And immediately, upon clicking this option, I was greeted by patch 7.0's most incredible feature, in my opinion, which I had heard about and I was looking so much forward to. And you know what that is? Let me tell you about it. You see, in Legacy of the Sith, Bioware made it so that you are not restricted to your two subclasses anymore when choosing a character class. Where before, a trooper could only be a commando or a vanguard, for example, now the trooper can be any combat style, Minus the force using combat styles, that is. This means that, for example, a trooper can be a sniper, an operative, a gunslinger, or just whatever you want. Finally, at long last, I can achieve the dream, man, of being Captain Rex from Clone Wars, this dual pistol wielding trooper dedicated to fighting for the glory of the Republic, and it is about damn time. Or I could be a bounty hunter gunslinger with dreadlocks. Through victory, my chains are broken. The Force shall free me. Yeah. Ah, Hada. The Bounty Hunter starting zone. The planet whose color theme is pee and feces. It has been years since I have seen this location, but it felt good to fly in again and land. And as you can imagine, the story of my adventure began with me being told about The Great Hunt, a big bounty hunter competition that would prove who is the greatest bounty hunter in the galaxy. The voice acting was top notch, the graphics seem to have gotten an upgrade in terms of lighting and shadows since last time I played. I, I think so anyway. And I was enjoying myself. But I needed to get to that combat. And what I did, guys, it was awesome. Wait, what's that? Get in there. Did I do it? <laughs> get in there, you whore. Rolling to cover is actually not needed. Your mom isn't needed. I like rolling into cover though. It, it, don't ruin my immersion, you sand lobster. Look at all these players, by the way. Look at them all running around. Like there's actually a population in this game. I, I thought I'd be the only person playing it. Maybe like me and like one Twitch viewer, but look at all these guys. This is great. I think that Bioware's decision to make it so that all the non-force user classes and force using classes can use whatever combat style they want. I think that was a genius move. I loved rolling around, diving behind cover, throwing grenades as a bounty hunter gunslinger. It felt more like immersive to me because instead of being this big butch guy who just stands there and absorbs bullet fire, like, you know, the previous bounty hunter thing, firing my two pistols from behind some boxes or whatever, it just felt cool. It felt, I don't know, immersive. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, oh my God. I would say that the only thing that still bugged me a little bit with this game though, even after all these years, if I have to be honest, was the graphics. I've never been a big fan of how things in Star Wars The Old Republic look kind of like, like a Pixar movie. Like, like, I don't know how to describe it, just kind of cartoony. But I will say, this was a big problem for me back in the day, but after having watched Clone Wars and Bad Batch, I'm a little bit more sympathetic towards this graphic style because it's kind of similar. But anyway, let's get back to the story. I quested for a time, and soon enough in this questing adventure, I was grouping up with people from my stream, learning that you actually receive more experience points from working together with players. 
So we started doing group quests and just having a great time playing through my class story together. I even got this awesome pair of glasses. I got a space station on my face. All right, let's go. And you'll never believe this. The Star Wars The Old Republic team even showed up in my stream at this moment and started giving away game codes to the audience. Thank you, Star Wars The Old Republic, for doing that. That was really cool. Blizzard never shows up to any of my streams. Bitch. This video is not sponsored, by the way. Just want to say that. All right. After a brief dance party, more group quests, and determining that my character is asexual roleplay-wise with the community, I managed to secure a sponsorship into the Great Hunt story-wise from this talking flaccid penis. Providing me with transport, I went to the Imperial Command Station, where there, I decided that the only reasonable course of action would be to ignore all of my quests entirely and jump straight into PvP. Because after all, PvP is what originally made me want to get into this game all those years ago. So... How is it now? Kill this rat! This disgusting, nasty rat! Yeah! This is why you have a gun. Boom! <laughs> They're opening the door! I need help! Watch this. Boom! <laughs> kills. Oh, number two in kills. Dude, my balls. I had led my men to victory multiple times on the battlefield. My community, God bless them, they decided to reward me for my great victories and my great leadership with a new set of badass armor, 100 million credits, which I think is a lot, and a handful of mounts to get me started in my adventures. I was impressed so far, guys. I admit it. I was enjoying the story. I was loving being a gunslinging bounty hunter. I was having a blast killing Republic rats with my stream viewers. And I was not expecting to be having this much fun playing this old game. I explored a Sith temple. I secured a place in the Great Hunt on Droman Koss. I got my own starship. And I even did some space PvE battles. I even learned that there is now space PvP in the game where you can like customize your ship and stuff and fly around. I wanted that at launch, dude. Like that would have been a mate. Mm. I haven't done that yet, but mm, I'm excited. <laughs> You got, you got to understand, fellas, that I've played Star Wars The Old Republic multiple times in the past in these little, like, tidbit nugget sessions, as I've said before, but I could never really get into it again like I did that first time at launch. I would play and level to maybe 10 or 12 on a character, and then I would just quit right after. But now, with the new update, not only was I having so much fun streaming the Bounty Hunter live on Twitch, but I'm also having fun trying out different class and combat style combos off stream. Fulfilling fantasies I had hoped to find at the game's launch, like playing a trooper with a freaking flamethrower, dude. <laughs> I think, now having played Star Wars The Old Republic for quite a little bit of time on stream and off, that the game is in a pretty good place right now if you're somebody who's new and wants to try it out for the first time, or try it again like what I'm doing. I can't comment on endgame or raids, late game PvP, or anything like that, but if you're a story nerd, somebody who likes Star Wars, or just wants to goof off with a very heavy roleplay community, because Star Wars The Old Republic, man, is, is full of roleplayers, let me tell you what. This might be a game worth checking out again. I'm gonna keep playing it on stream each morning here and there. I wanna hit cap on this bounty hunter, potentially. I'd like to check out Endgame a little bit, share my thoughts on that one day, like I did with Elder Scrolls Online, for those of you that have seen those videos. But until that time comes, the story continues, my friends. Thank you for watching this video. And for those of you that I've been questing with in the game, doing PvP with, or just those of you who have been watching the story live, you guys are awesome. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and I will see you all in a galaxy far, far away.